Okay, I have connected the radio uh, to the PC here. Uh, you, the radio does not come uh, either with a USB cable, USB programming cable, or with, um, a pro uh, with its programming software. Uh, I have a standard uh, uh, cheap uh, USB programming cable, which I use for my other bow things, uh, practically almost all of my radios. Actually, I hope that that will work. Uh, you can download the radio on radioddity.com uh, website under downloads here. And uh, here it is, DM5R program software. Download it, save file, the usual things, and everything. I have already downloaded it and extracted, but I'll show you here. Here it is, the setup. Uh, here, if you write uh, Click to extract the software. I'm not sure what, why it takes so long here. Okay, extract here. It will ask you for a password. The, the password is one, two, three, four, five, six. So password here. Okay, replace now because it's already there. Okay. Uh, I have already installed it, but let's do it one more time. Here, run, it's installing. Next, I agree to the terms, which is, they're not terms here, but uh, what else can we do? Okay, install it there. Install shortcuts for current user. Okay, next, next, everything. And it's installing, okay. Okay, this is Windows 7, by the way. Now, let's go, make sure, this one. Run it. Um, let me start. Okay. Now here it is. Let's. Okay, it's happening. Uh, the usual stuff. You need to set a communication port. I assume first. And uh, no, let's do that full screen device com port. Com three. Mine is com three. And there is a uh, speed uh, rate setting here, uh, 57, 600 uh, is the one that works. The other ones don't work. If you try, it will fail to read. Okay, let's click OK there. Okay, now let's turn on the radio. Here it is. You see not much of what it's receiving there. Uh, and do uh, to read data. Please don't unpin the machine while reading data. I won't unpin it. Red light blinks like uh, it's transmitting. With success. I already do the restart. Okay. With success. Now, let's see what's going on here. HRC 500. Not sure what this means, but okay. Um, now let's see the MR info. Serial number one two three four five. Model well, name one two three four five. Okay, machine code, frequency range. These are not editable. Version date September twenty first two thousand sixteen. Okay. Let's see here, base set, set, uh, radio name, ah, okay, I've already got my call sign here. This was HRC5000 also, not sure why it didn't change here, but, okay. Squash level one, this radio ID, language, uh, no language, lock keeper, password. This password, I suppose it's for, um, uh, maybe if you connect it to a computer, it should ask for a password. Maybe, because these are different write and read passwords. Okay, save power, box delay, send limit time, time or timer probably. This is what TLT on the radio menu. Okay, work mode, frequency channel, channel number. Let's put that to zero. That's the selected channel number to show. 
we want to integrate so the first one I think is going to be number one okay finally okay menu set with set pretty standard uh, display call and sound dispel and sound dispel this is the, the tail elimination maybe not sure really and sound dispel in seconds Okay, really in sound check again in seconds. Not sure what these are, these are probably uh, have to do with um, square tail elimination or things like that. I prefer them being off dispel. Open okay, power on display, display character or full screen character. I think it will display the message, the maybe the double hold choice. Okay, this is a uh, which uh, VFO it should select or maybe go back to after it receives. Uh, yes, after it uh, receives, I think. Let's set that to off. Scan mode, carry away the usual. I think name double hold start. Okay, tone, message alert. When you receive a message, I, I assume on DMR. Message or maybe I don't know. Although I haven't seen something, a way to have messages, to read messages or anything on the radio. Anyway, AB frequency channel A, B section digital and everything. Channel A so that because in B section we can go to U section. Yeah, can change this. Okay, no V section. Digital, and let's put out a proper uh, point uh, 65 according to the band plan. Not a value, 30 point value. Okay, it means a comma. A comma. Okay, it accepts a dot. I can type a dot. Okay. Okay, I can type a dot, but it won't accept it as a value. Okay, uh, what else can we do? We can leave it like that, okay, and then fill in the rest of it. Not sure if it's on my PC uh, or uh, uh, software glitch in general. No, 725. Okay, frequency direct, no shift. Uh, Positive or negative frequency different. This is the offset, white band, narrow band. Not sure if it makes sense on digital. It should. Let's leave it to white and see. Group list. Receiving. Encrypt. Okay, it supports encryption. Of course, it's illegal to use encryption on ham radio bands, uh, at least in Europe, in uh, region one of the EU. Okay. Uh, here emergency system virus things for channel A. Okay, this is set. Let's set channel B for UHF analog. Yeah, this is nice. There is slot option, slot one, slot two. It is tier one slot option. I can't uh, check that if it works right now, but I think I will be able to check it. On my next uh, video on this, this is now just uh, a walkthrough. Okay, color code. Okay, frequency step 6.5, frequency direction, the same things. Contacts, transmit, these are for DMR, I suppose, these here. But there is also uh, CTCSS and this is Thomas here. Okay, let's leave it as it is now. Let's do channel. Okay, I programmed uh, one channel before. Uh, if you okay, if, if you click here, the channel list. Here we cannot edit 
However, there is one good thing about this software. Um, this is how you can add more channels. You cannot right click here, you cannot change this. But I'll tell you what this list is useful, is very useful for. Uh, okay, this is simple. Simplex V. Uh, let's here, work mode, channel number, I have only one. So this is not the selected channel number, this is the number of channels you want the radio to have. Maximum 128. Okay, yeah, here they are. Okay, now it makes sense. Here is everything. Okay. Oh, nice. nice. I figured this out. Okay, now. Um, I have already entered this one. It was a nice... All these were pre-installed, uh, pre-configured uh, in here. Um, I have added this one. Here it is, here is the information, and now you can navigate next the channel and uh, set it up on in the read of address, actually violation, okay? This is a bug. And run again. CPS folder. And read from the radio again. Read. Okay, it's reading. I want to in the machine while reading the book. Good success. Okay. Where was I? Channels. There we go. I don't want it to happen again. Let's open channel, second channel here, this one. And let's do this digital. Channel name. Uh, DMR. Okay, underscore does nothing. Okay, DMR1. No, no, this is not the correct frequency. The frequency I want is on uh, VHF. No, I can't enter a comma. So we'll go the usual way, like this. And now I can enter. Okay. And copy paste that at least. Oh, okay, it allows me to do that. That's good. Power would be too low. Scan up this probably what this is. Digital channel color code slot group list alarm pop contacts. Okay, let's leave all this information here as is. Close this and the list is updated. Now, the good thing about this list here, what I wanted to show you, is that we can rearrange like this. I believe this is. Uh, very user friendly. Uh, of course, this is only uh, the, the the use of this list here. You see, it doesn't even adjust to the window resize. But anyway, I like the fact that I can do this here. It's, it is very useful. You can't delete a channel. There's no uh, right click. Does nothing. Or you can't make changes here, you can only change the channel from here. You can't delete, but you can set it to no channel. So this practically means it's uh, deleted, I believe. I'll see it down the way. Now it's only a walkthrough. Okay, let's go through the other ones real quick. Alarm, not uh, sure what these are. Emergency system. I'll check it. The polite replies. This is probably the checking if the other radio is in proximity, I believe. But we'll see. Contact. Like this. Okay, contact. Uh, I can add contacts here. Not sure how I can use them, of course. Uh, from within the 255 slots for contacts. Okay, that's useful. Uh, of course, not sure how I can use them. You can only set them probably, most likely, to each channel. That's how it works from the software. On the radio, I cannot use them. There's no apparent way of using them anyway. Okay, group lists here. 
uh, you can have groups mm, starting to get really slow not sure why okay 128 groups and finally let's open the dmr okay methods I'll also open the message. Okay, these are probably predefined messages. Hello. Uh, with no space. Send under space. I don't accept it. Okay. Most likely I can't use them within the radio anyway. Encryption again, these are uh, encryption keys. It's illegal to use encryption, so I can't use it, but I will probably show you how it is being set in my next video. This is a walk. Okay, that's it. Let's just uh, update. Let me come back here. Let's write. Let's write this information to the radio. Read, write that, what is this? clone data. Not sure what clone data does. But uh, let's do a right to the radio. This button is and it's the green light blinks. It's like it's receiving. Okay. It's sending. I will probably speed this up. And. done restart welcome green so my call sign will be good right success okay you can also save this save as let's keep this as a okay it's saved and that's it save or not I saved it no I hope I saved it anyway okay now, let's get to the radio. Okay, now that we've uh, wrote our memories to the radio, let's unplug this cable and see what we have here. There's no custom message. This is the digital, this is where in VFO mode. Uh, these are the channels that were saved. Let's go to the first one is zero, okay. Simple V. Okay, and DMR. Okay, this is analog. This is DMR. B. Okay, the same DMR. And analog. These are programmed. Uh, let's check. Uh, um, okay, let's check something here with the uh, frequency counter. Simple V, this is analog. So let's see what's it shown. 145.301, yeah, 145.3 was the actual uh, frequency. Let's go DMR, what will it show? 144.725 is the correct frequency, but it is showing it, which is really nice. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, uh, subscribe to my channel, and share this video if you find it useful. Uh, stay tuned for testing the Baofeng DM5R for my next video where I will be testing it with other DMR radios and see what uh, it can do uh, 73 stay tuned